ஏபி கேபிட்டல் சிட்டி இட்ஸ் ஏ சாகா ஆஃப் லாங் ஸ்டோரி த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அண்ட் ஃபோர் மோஸ்ட் தெர் வாஸ் நோ செப்ரேட் ஆந்திர பிரதேஷ் பிஃபோர் டு நைன்டீன் ஃபிஃப்டி த்ரீ இட் வாஸ் அண்டர் தி மெட்ராஸ் பிரசிடென்சி த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டைம் சம் ஆஃப் தி தெலுங்கு ஸ்பீக்கிங் ஏரியாஸ் ஃபார் ஃபார்ம்ட் இன் டு ஆந்திர பிரதேஷ் இன் நைன்டீன் ஃபிஃப்டி த்ரீ from 1953 first october 1953 till 31st october 1956 it was karnool was the capital city when we talk about karnool karnool is known as the gateway of rail seema karnool is the district headquarters of karnool it's a very important city in rail seema region it's known for its temples karnool is very famous historically so karnool became its the first capital city then after 1956 during 1956 putti sri ramulu was a long fight for a separate telugu state an independent and full page telugu state that made the state or the reorganization act 1956 then it, it united andhra pradesh with telugu speaking people from, from north of andhra then the capital city is shifted from karnool to hyderabad actually in the previous days and all that one karnool was the capital city first the next comes hyderabad in 1956 with its reorganization states the reorganization act during this period of time not only andhra pradesh so many other states were also created on linguistic basis language was given priority in that way they formed these states so it's 1956 reorganization of states the basis was the majority language spoken in that particular area Mahara, marathi maharashtra gujarati gujarat odisha oriya oriya odisha so like that what we find the states formations during this period of time and hyderabad continued to be the capital city for united andhra pradesh from 1956 to 2015 though the bifurcation of the state was in 2014 and after that one more year hyderabad was our capital city and 2015 we started a new era in the history of navyandhra making amravati as the capital city in 2015 and there are various reasons what chandrababu naidu government was giving and the other people are giving the reason is that what amravati was the ancient capital city during the period of satwahana satwahana's most important cities those days were dhanya gataka and also dharani kota and now the present amravati at that time amravati is a buddhist place amravati is known for its buddhist stupas so that was the reason why amravati selected as the capital city what the then government was claiming and here there are so many other things we have to debate there are so many other things we have to see actually in andhra pradesh krishna godavari basins they are very rich for tel soils very good deltas are there and lots of vegetables and lots of greenery and very good vegetation cover and 24 hours water supply you find because of the almost always flowing godavari and krishna because most of the tributaries which are flowing from the eastern ghats they bring some water some this day or that day so three crops guaranteed three crops and its most important rice bowl and these are the two areas which are the richest in our vegetation richest in our vegetation 
and also greenery. So, here in this place of Abhravati, the Krishna Basin, 36,000 acres of land, which is known for green energy, climatic balance, and also rich vegetation, variety of crops, horticulture, fresh air, and the green energy for the heat balance and everything. This 36,000 acres of land. Now, in the name of the capital city of Amravati, turned into completely pebbles, concrete jungles, and the roads and all that were. We are not opposing the Amravati Production Committee, but what we are saying is the ground reality is Amravati is very rich in fertility of land and its most important source of food for most of the people. So, this kind of situation is completely turned into the concrete jungles. It, it started a kind of imbalance in the nature. The natural resources, food crops are affected, horticulture is terribly in danger, and poultry, dairy milk, and now they became concrete jungles with budging, elbows with heavy traffic, VIP cars and VIP roads and VIP visits we find here. So the capital culture is growing now in Vijayawada, Guddu and Abhravati and the surrounding areas. The hard working farmers in these areas are now diverted towards the other situations. They have to go for other occupations. And especially whatever maybe they may get some job, they will may get some crores of rupees. The most important impact is on our food. Food is the most important basis for human survival. I am not supporting, opposing, whatever it is. I am looking into the realities. When I visited Amaravati in 2018, I made a long trip to all the areas how they are turned into the arid regions we have seen. The prospects of the capacity has become again a question mark with the present government raising three capital cities. Now it is a four plane, it's a power plane now. The farmers who gave their lands, who sacrificed their life for the new capital city, now they are in terrible shock. And the result of all this political game. And let's wait and see how things are going to unfold in the near future. Thank you very much.